Hey people, this is Budridge. It's a new episode. Sublime Text Better Vintage. Can resize the window. Would mean that I would have to make this beautiful picture of a happy young uh, Terry Davis in front of a cool robot machine thing. I don't know what, what this is, some ancient uh, 3D printer or maybe a CNC milling machine. Probably a CNC machine of some kind. Um, yeah. Terry Davis. What a man. In this episode we are going to uh, add some fixes to, to and, and some of my personal preferences that I like to add to, um, to make vintage more usable. Oh, now I can see we are in the wrong project. Let's clean up some stupid tabs here. Close, close, close. There. Um, first thing I think we should do is extract the sublime package. Or you know what? I think we have it here, by the way. Pa packages, settings here preferences here we have the vintage control keys I like to keep because this uh, preferences file this is the one you know that sublime automatically updates and stuff I don't I, I, I don't want to have any um, any settings that I don't need to have inside here font size you kind of have to have that because when you change the font size with the uh, control plus and minus for example that changes this value, which means that it uh, updates this file. Uh, so, so this is a setting that you should keep in this auto setting file. But vintage control keys uh, is a setting I want to have here. And vintage control keys is a special uh, vintage uh, uh, setting that enables a couple of control keys. Um, we, we, I talked a bit, bit about it in the last video, but when you enable it, it will break a couple of, of the default uh, Sublime keys. And I actually like to enable even more uh, Vim control keys that I think should be uh, default with any Vim setup. And that, that's one thing that we're going to do now. In the Budlime repository on GitHub, have my packages here, which are all my config files for all my packages that I use. And some of these packages are, are packages that I have kind of made myself here. For instance, this vintage sanity here, uh, it only contains one key map. And the, you can actually create packages like this. If we go into the sublime directory here, can we get some nice big icons. We have the install packages. These are the ones that we have installed with package control. They come in a packed format, you know. We have looked at this, how to extract them and stuff. And then we have the extracted packages. And remember, we created this special Zablime folder. That's something that we did ourselves to keep our setting files. Uh, uh, yeah, exactly what we talked about here. Uh, to, to make sure that Sublime doesn't auto-format the, the setting file for us. And you can create any number of uh, directories here uh, and, and add custom key maps for instance and I I, I recently um, understood that, that it's better to separate key maps than having one gigantic key map with all packages uh, key map yeah bunched together it's better to, to have them in in separate directories here meaning they will become uh, they will be understood as separate packages basically so if we create a, a directory here and we can call it uh, vintage sanity save that open it and then we can open this vintage sanity file we can even enter the raw mode here and then i will copy the whole content open sublime create a new file with uh, eye opener you know and then we now we have our directory here and we can call this one default uh, yeah the name here is important you have to call it default uh, linux sublime key map you you could actually leave this linux uh, field out and just call it default.sublime key map and that would work work as well and then the file will work on windows also and this file would actually work perfect on windows but i uh, by doing this uh, 
uh, it will not work on Windows. So it, it have no uh, advantage at all. But I like to do it anyways because who cares about Windows users, right? And now I'm really sorry, Terry, uh, but I need uh, the screen here, so I will expand this window. But you know, I Fira, whenever I, I, I want to, I can bring him back. Same uh, split sizes. Now we have our vintage sanity key map here, and let's quickly look at what we can do with it. First, I have some VI bindings for the sidebar, and we haven't looked at this at all because it, it's really weird to focus the sidebar. Uh, you press control and zero. No sidebar has focus. There's no indication that the sidebar ha has focus, focus, but when I move the key here. Now with up and down arrows, it, it moves in, in, in um, the sidebar. But now with v Vintage Sanity, we can navigate in the sidebar. So control zero, we, uh, we will add uh, a better uh, sidebar control thing. Another package I have made myself in, in future video. But now we can do H, J, K and L to navigate the, the sidebar. So J, it goes down and K goes up, of course. But uh, one one good thing here is that h left that goes left and that uh, that's a fast way to navigate in in the tree sometimes you are deep down in sub directories then you can just left 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 to to get back up in the tree so that's the sidebar navigation here then we have spell check keys here so if you enable spell check i don't know if it's view here yeah f6 is the default uh, key combination to enable spell check and then uh, with the left and right bracket followed by s i think this is default vim uh, um, keys for this and i have also added the context here so so this will only work when we are in command mode and not in insert mode then it would insert those uh, keys tab switching and now we we will encounter uh one of the first uh, weird issues here with uh, mm, 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 vintage mode. And th this is not default VI binding. This is something that I like to have. I, I, I don't even know. I, maybe capital J and capital K have uh, a defaults in Vim or vintage that are overwrite here, but th those are commands that I never use. And I find these more logical. And I also use the same in, in, uh, in uh, Vivaldi here, so I can j capital j uh, move tab down capital k move tab up or, or previous and next but uh, as you can see i have a vertical tab bar because that's how i how i roll and we can do the same here in in sublime now but we have to be in command mode so first we press escape uh, the dr dirtak way by tapping caps lock now we are in command mode i press capital j and it goes to to uh, the previous tab or, or next tab but now if i sometimes you know you want to flip tabs fast if i would press capital j again here now it would just enter a capital j because this tab it was in insert mode and this tab all of these are in insert mode actually and there is a setting you can set in in uh, with vintage to make this a little bit better but it's still not perfect so in the opt directory with the default packages, we can find the sub vintage package here. Let's extract it. We can now find it extracted in the extracted package directory. And here we open uh, uh, preferences, sublime settings. Vintage control keys, true. We have already set this. Then you can also uh, make it more uh, Unixy with with a clipboard by enabling this. Uh, let's not do that now, but we have this also vintage start in command mode this means that all new windows and all new tabs and when you start sublime for the first time then it will be in command mode so this this is something i highly highly recommend you using so we will add that now to our preferences file here uh, set it to true save but when we enter tabs here, it's still in insert mode. It doesn't mean that it always, uh, it's, it's only when you open a new file. So if we open this, for instance, that should be in command mode now. Yeah. But, um, and, 
I started to get really annoyed by this because I many times I started entering command but instead it entered text and this is uh, really really annoying in my opinion it's better to always and, and sometimes you are in command mode sometimes it was in insert mode it was no easy way to find out and I, I, I just don't look at the status bar that often to, to look for the mode you know so I thought isn't there a way to force always command mode as soon as a tab loses focus I would like it to revert back into command mode and there is a way, but it, <laughs> I found it in, in the dark corners of some uh, stack exchange thread. Uh, I named the package here because this is not a package that you can install from package control. I just found this random uh, thread here, uh, six year old thread, someone who have made a, a package for this. And I, uh, I thought, okay, let's try this. I copy pasted this code and it actually worked fine. And I, I uh, added this as a package now in, in, in my directory here. But you cannot install this from, from uh, package control either. So let's copy this. And this is a Python file. Uh, and then we can create a new package here. Uh, we can call it command commander. I don't know. It's a super stupid name. But whatever. There, now we have created a new file, I save here, and now we have this command commander. So if I go here, now it is in insert mode, but as soon as I, every time I, uh, a, a file loses focus, it will revert back into command mode. So we have to, to browse through all, all these open tabs, but now after this, now every time we open a tab it, tab, it will be in command mode, and every time it loses focus, it will also be in command mode. And this one uh, was in insert mode, but now it is good. And now even if I enter insert mode in some of these tabs randomly, they, they will, as soon as it loses focus, go back to uh, command mode. So now we know that three of these tabs are in insert mode here. But now I can switch tab here with uh, capital J. And it's no problem it never enters insert mode Every, all, all tabs are in control mode and i am in control and i am also a bit happy about it so, and with that then it's no problem to use this uh, tab switching method great then we also have this control shift j and k uh, uh, it's it's just um, i added this you know you can move uh, a line with control shift up and down uh, by default in Sublime. It, it's called bubbling lines. Uh, I added this to control shift J and K instead to have it more uh, uh, logical according to the VI bindings. And this uh, is not, you don't have to be in command mode. So this also works in insert mode because sometimes you want to bubble a line in insert mode and, and, and this doesn't interfere with ins insert mode uh, uh, itself. That's the benefit with with normal control uh, keys, you know, then you can add commands that still, yeah, you get it. And then we also have Alt, Shift, K and J. Those are the equivalents of Alt, Shift, up and down to create multiple cursors. Now we can do that with Alt, Shift, J and K. Great. Then we have this. Uh, another thing. Uh, 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 uh. How is it now? Yeah, control R, when you enable this uh, uh, default, mm, 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 the vintage uh, control keys, I think that uh, control R will uh, have a different uh, function. It will be, yeah, here we have it. It's redo or re repeat, or maybe it's me who have added this, but I like this, so I want it like this. So control R no longer opens go to uh, uh, section which is the default and that is that is also something i use all the time so to solve this uh, stay with me now this might might sound really weird that i have done it like this but there are of course some autistic logic to to this as well i have remapped control r that command to control shift p so control shift P now goes to symbol. In this document we don't have any symbols, but if we would, it would go to them. Maybe we can see some if we open some, some Python file. Control shift P. 
now this is symbols you know but then a uh, friend of or or order might ask that isn't control shift p the command palette uh, uh, key binding and yes it is so i have remapped con uh, the command palette palette to this but that is very logical in my opinion because uh, in vim and vi or at least vim when you press colon while in command mode, then it opens the command prompt uh, in, in uh, VI. So colon brings up the command pal palette now. But <laughs> this is so stupid. When you install Vintage, these are all the, they, call, they even call it EX commands here. So you can use these uh, commands. And it's really annoying because they are at the top of the command palette. Every time you open it, you get these. And I have never used any of these. It's so incredibly stupid in my opinion uh, but you can just disable those uh, commands by opening the vintage sublime commands uh, file here in the vintage package and comment these guys out there and now if i open command palette they are gone perfect Uh, then we have control Y that is no longer uh, redo or repeat that is on control R because in, in Vim then control Y that is scroll lines down and This is something that I use uh, often uh, It might not look like much But this is very useful in my opinion because you can see that the, the cursor it stays on the same line You just scroll the document. This is really really nice to be able to do Sometimes you you know you are at the bottom of the document. You just what what is it on the line beneath there really, and then you just scroll it like this. It's great, and this is something uh, a small tip here that you can also use in in uh, uh, less for instance, Control E and Control Y to 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 make a small small scroll when you're reading like this. You have probably done this. You know you reach the end of the, of of the, of the man page and then you press space to go page down and then you whoa where am I in the document? I think you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so Control E and Control Y to do that and also Control E is down here. That is probably also some some other weird stuff that I have remapped. Control F bring up the f uh, fine panel. We do that now with slash instead. You know. So uh, that's the VI way and control F is now page down and I like that And most important of them all control D is now half page down. I think it is uh, control D uh, But that means that will overwrite the the normal control D in sublime it is the most loved command of them all uh, select under Expand selection under cursor. I think it's called I have now moved that isn't that supposed to be here Control here it is Yeah, find under expand is what they call this But that is you know control D select the word under the cursor control D again select next But now I'm actually pressing control and period uh, or dot that's how I like to set have this set, and I've, uh, I have no problem with this at all. But this can be something that can be hard to to change uh, behavior in for for someone who have used Sublime for a long time and are very used to the Control D because that's something that you use all the time. And I also have Control Shift period to skip a word. And remember, if you watch the Sublime tutorial uh, or Sublime Tutor video. Uh, the, the default for skipping uh, a selection is control K control D Stupid command control shift period M much better in my opinion So I think we covered everything uh, uh, In this file now But we are not done. We are not done or maybe we are it's not much whoops uh, We have done the, have we done disable arrow keys I don't think we have because I like to disable all the arrow keys uh, when using vintage or vim also I, I, I have this setting in my vim profile uh, same here we create a new package by just creating a folder which we can do with our uh, the beautiful package uh, 
eye opener, eye opener uh, disable arrow keys slash uh, default Linux dot sublime key map. Save, save, and now when I press up button, nothing happens because all now control. Uh, normal arrow keys, control arrow keys, and control shift arrow keys. They are now uh, completely disabled here. Uh, I don't even... Some people like to keep them uh, available in insert mode, but I, I, I disable them there too. They are completely disabled except for if the uh, setting is widget. And that means if, if, for example, the command palette, I can navigate this types of menus and that you there are other menus as well that you can uh, navigate here but but i don't like to use the arrow key keys there either and uh, i uh, i came up with uh, what could i use instead of the arrow keys because you know you cannot use j and k here that would start typing into the input box here but then i thought the tab key the tab key should uh, in my opinion be used for uh, nav navigating menus like this previous and next next is tab uh, shift tab is previous so that works now also now i'm pressing tab now i'm pressing shift tab and it also works with autocomplete uh, then you uh, i needed to add a different context here and i also added this control tab to commit completion and, and, and this might sound weird and, and be hard to understand what this exactly do here but let's do this Remember in the snippets video, we created a snippet for key bindings, KB. Uh, and if I press uh, tab now, that will expand that snippet for us. No, it didn't because I forgot to reset the settings. Uh, sorry for that. Does enter do this? Ah, that's right. Tab doesn't... Uh, uh, now, since we have this... Let's do this then. Uh, we, we disable this autocomplete so I can demo this in a good way. I disable this uh, autocomplete tab keys here now. If I do KB in a JSON document, then we, are, we, we have this sublime key binding uh, snippet available for us. If I press tab key here, it will expand that snippet. And this, uh, a lot of people are used to, to, to having this, but I don't like it at all that you expand with the tab key. Sometimes you want to do other stuff with the tab key. Now it will not work anyways, but an even worse uh, completion uh, commit uh, button is enter key. And that is enabled by default because now, now I will press enter and that will also expand the snippet. And this is very bad because sometimes you, you might uh, uh, write some code like this, you know. You're programming, you're really into the zone, you know. Uh, and then uh, you write the last, uh, uh, the last variable name and then you hit enter. And then it, what is this? I was supposed to just make a line break and then you get a snippet or something instead. It's very bad to have a completion on with uh, enter key. And this is enabled by default in Sublime. We will fix that. Mm, 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 mm. And now we can fine tune some of these settings while we are here. Uh, use tab stops. I think we can have that, whatever. It's not related to this. Uh, draw a center, draw a minimap border, highlight line. I like highlight line. There. Yeah, it's much more visible where you are in the document. It's maybe more ugly, but it's much more visible. Uh, match brackets, sure, do that if you want to. I don't care. Match selection. There are so many options. Um, tab completion. When enabled, pressing tab will uh, tr will insert the best matching uh, completion. Uh, now let's keep this on true, I think. And shift tab can be used, or you know what? Let, let, let's set this to false also. Autocomplete. That is what brings up the menu menu at all. You can also set a key binding to force the menu and and have this to false. It's it's kind of nice, but I I, I actually like it like this. But I like to increase this delay uh, 
quite a lot actually because now KB or you see uh, just an L here brings up this uh, uh, completion menu instantly and I, I like to set this at maybe 400 or something it's milliseconds so it's not super slow but it at least takes some time because that it, it I tend to lose focus when, when things are, are blinking around like that and 400 milliseconds that's nothing and anyways it makes a difference I, I, I think I actually have this at 800 milliseconds in, in my own um, uh, setting here we have auto complete commit on tab but this is what defines if you want to use the tab key or the enter key to commit and here we set this to true so tab key well that didn't look so well either with the white text when you type on this highlighted line but whatever so now um, if we do KB and if I press enter now it enters a normal line break because now the commit key is set to be tab and that's nice then we also have this autocomplete cycle I like to set this to true as well and that that basically mean if this is false then um, Ah, that's right now arrow keys doesn't work in this menu whatever set this to true I will show you soon because now we have to enable that uh, tab thing to, to work that's good enough that's good enough for now we will probably modify more settings here uh, in another video let's go back to default disable arrow keys and maybe I should move this tab key to a separate uh, uh, file I think I will do that in the future here and now you know we have tab to be uh, the completer here so kb tab that uh, enters this but uh, with these uh, settings enabled or these uh, key bindings enabled well not this this should be a comment uh, now uh, i have i have a setting here that tab should instead move forward when autocomplete is visible so that will override that setting that we just did and instead control tab that is the only way to to confirm autocomplete now and this might sound really <laughs> isn't this a bit too much trouble for this but no trust me me and autocomplete we have had so many fights and uh, i have i have i I think I've fixed this now. So now let's just press L here or K. And now tab key. God damn it. Ah, I haven't saved. I haven't saved. Save K. Tab key. Cycles. And this is what the cycle thing does. If if that would be set to false, then it just uh, exit out of the menu when it reaches the end here and does weird things. So I, I like to have that as, as false and, and you can do both tab and shift tab to go in the opposite direction now both of, since we just have two and then just control tab and, and remember Dr. Dirtak have, have ta taught you how to use the caps lock as a control key so it's basically caps lock and tab to confirm and that's not a, a weird key to press in my opinion at all. But when I the first time I, I enabled this, and this is why I have H, uh, uh, J, and K now on on switching tabs because I used to have Control and Tab to switch tabs, but that, you know then that breaks when you start doing this. It's it's like a never-ending story. This setting up the, the keys, but I think I have found uh, a good system for this. So that's disabling arrow keys. Do we have anything left in our uh, package list here? And we have done the command commander and we have done the everything we have this move tab but that's a separate package uh, let's horizontal scroll it's also a separate package I think yeah uh, but these are packages I also want to add but let's and then we have the sidebar toggler uh, Vintage finder, that's also something we have to wait a bit with. Vintage. Yeah, here I think I have disabled a bunch of, of default commands here. That I don't use uh, or have changed. And also all of the window splitting commands and stuff. Because I, as I have shown you, I don't use the internal window splitting uh, thing in, in Sublime at all. Uh, I, I, I have my own thing going with that instead so let's copy this guy 
I don't think there's any interesting to say about it. I have basically just disabled those control W and then you have some, if you use Vim, then you know the window splitting commands there. You can use those keys here as well, but I, I don't think they work so well. There is a, a, a package that's called um, origami. I think I've talked about it. That's very good if you want to, uh, um, if you still don't want to use my method with, with the um, custom split windows and use i3, then you should use origami instead. And there is a special origami vintage package to, to, to make that sane, because this, this is really clunky to use. It's better than the default Sublime, but still, ugh. There, and then I think we make one more video, because now we need to install some small packages here to add the, the last uh, missing pieces for, for a good uh, 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 vintage experience. So, next video. We finish this vintage setting up thing and then we are more or less done with this I think then I will show you how to get all these settings all because it, as you can see uh, it takes a lot of time pasting the code uh, enabling weird packages some are not available in the package control and extracting packages changing the default files you know it it's a mess to 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 do all this so I have made a script here, so this can be done automatically. It takes about uh, one minute to install all the packages you need if you have a good internet connection. But the package for Sublime, they are very small. It's just a couple of megabytes usually. Uh, or not even that. Whatever. It, it's very fast. You just it, it will automatically download, install the packages. It will extract the packages needed, but only the files needed. And it will apply all the settings that I have in this folder. That is what the script will do. And that is what we're going to look at uh, after we have installed these last small uh, stupid packages. And then I am done with the Sublime videos for a while. Uh, but at least two, 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 maybe three videos uh, till till the end of this Sublime series. Thank you for watching, everybody. Um, I see you in the next video, and also bye bye. <laughs>